there's a whole underside of the industry that many don't know about. You know, everyone sees, you know, food coming out of a kitchen and they eat it. They don't realize the process of that food, the, how it gets cooked, where the equipment comes from. First, it's got to get built somewhere in the world. Then it goes to that restaurant. They've got to pick. There's multiple varieties to pick from of what kind of range they want and how they want to cook it and what they want to do. And costs, you know, you can get a six burner range from $1,000 to $15,000. So there's a lot that comes into, into our side of the business. All of our factories, and we represent approximately 20 of them, are really the, the leading innovators in, in, in getting the new stuff from around the world to us. Uh, one of our factories is Electrolux, and Electrolux Professional is giant worldwide. So, you know, their specialties and stuff it, we're seeing from Europe come over here, um, whether it's robotic vending machines, whether it's robotic arms. We're seeing that come from all over the world to us, and our job is to introduce it to the U.S. market and, and really where it fits. You know, there's not very many mom and pop shops are going to want that, but for a chain, it makes sense. So you have five, say 2,000, a banquet for 2,000. 2,000 people come, they eat, they enjoy their meal, they leave. Now you've got place settings for 2,000 people that needs to be cleaned. <laughs> the process to clean that is another event <laughs> to get the dishes through the machine, to get them sanitized, to get them now stacked, plated, ready to go again. It takes a small army. Um, so you've got an army on the front side. Let's say you're, you're doing 2,000 and you're doing vegetable plates and you got vegetables. You gotta clean the vegetables. How do you clean 2,000 potatoes in a timely fashion? There's not one guy just sitting scrubbing a potato. You gotta go into a machine. You go into a, a vegetable wash where you dump them in a big sink and the sink tumbles and it, it cleans them, all the vegetables. So now you're dealing with product waste and where does the product waste go and how does that get handled? And you know, in our environment now, you know, waste is a, a very big concern. When you have a commissary kitchen that's then pushing out to, uh, whether it's regional or, I mean, national chains, they want you to have the same broccoli cheddar soup in Maryland that you have in Oregon. Um, you know, it's got to be consistent. And the way to control that is you know, we can take some of the equipment. The, the chef can come up with the winning soup recipe and they can take chips plug them into the equipment and make sure that it cooks and does everything the same every single time. We had a gentleman who had pizza, pizza chain uh, regional down south, and um, he brought his dough here to try on the machines that's, that portion it out and that spread it out and things like that to see will it work. Will it still give him the same product his customers are used to, but you know, be a different way for him to scale. But what really helps a client decide what piece of equipment is best for them um, or how much they're willing to spend is the level of quality that they are really desiring for their kitchen. You know, what kind of capacity does it have? What, you know, what are the, what are the functions that really make it work for their like business? You can buy a $15,000 convection oven and it may have a more extended warranty. It may have, you know, a thicker gauge in the way that it's constructed. It may, you know, the BTUs might be hotter in this oven than this one over here. So there are some real, like, um, fine details that determine that price. You know, we're a very small Eastern Shore kind of family unit. We're different from our peer groups on the Western Shore. Um, they have facilities, but um, and they have big teams, and they represent big conglomerates of uh, manufacturers and whatnot. But we were, we're really in it for the relationships and to work with people we know we can do a good job and, and we're confident selling their product. Um, and that's what kind of makes us different. So we may not always go after the Bentley. And you know sometimes we do want that specialty thing because we know we have something um, else to offer. But it's really, it's not just about the product itself. I mean, the things that Patty and Jamie present within their company to um, you know a regular cook like me that just sees like kind of the normal industry standard equipment, the things that they bring to the surface is just like remarkable. I mean, all of the touch screen, the recipe, the, you know, where you can transfer a thousand recipes in a single little, you know, um, unit and put it into another one. 
Like, and it's done like within seconds. And we really like downtown. I really like downtown. And, you know, I, I wanted a building that was standalone that could support the hood systems, that could support going in and out. Because we've got a lot of big equipment, a lot of large things. Just, I think being downtown, especially in Easton, is, is good for the community, it's good for us. You know, we, when we took this building over, we, we really did some improvements to it. Uh, you'll see a lot on the inside that's, that's really going to, to benefit long term. So in our industry, it's, having the test kitchens are becoming almost you have to do that, but our competitors, it's kind of like in a warehouse, it's in the receiving yard. Um, this building gives us the feel of really being in a, an environment, a cooking, um, a, it, we're calling it a restaurant without, that's not open to the public. I mean, we have the wear washing, the dry storage, the, the prep, you know, all the way through with the bar, the um, kind of cafe, beverage area, and this sets us apart from what everyone else is doing. Well, they can stay at the Tidewater, they can walk to the kitchen, we can go around to any of the restaurants in town. It, you know, if you're out of this, this square right here, then it's, I'm just another warehouse with a kitchen. So I gotta have a reason to, for people to fly and drive to the Eastern Shore. You know, as much as we all love it, it's a little secret. You know, if I tell somebody in, in Ohio, come to Easton, and they land in BWI, like, oh, what a drive. But when they get here, they're like, this is absolutely amazing.